Okay, it's Roger once again showing this many, 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 many times. Pulse red laser, laser light accelerating, displaying itself as a particle, concussing and actually separating the strong and the weak force. Electron neutrinos, photons, which are back to back electrons, and electrons are a black and a white ball together. A strong force is the white, the weak force is the black. When they concuss, the white explodes because it is the fermion. The black ball rolls away because it is the boson. You saw the particle, it was like this. When it concusses, the things separate. The white explodes, the black ball rolls away. They now could be calling this dark energy, dark matter, or something like that. Could be. Now that I've made that, that statement, so let's see what she has to say. But I'm going to tell you right now, if you think that they're providing truth and they care if it's true or not, then I think you're making a terrible, terrible, terrible mistake. I have found no appetite for truth in academia. I can show them things that are undeniable and they turn their eyes and actually deny things like this. I've shown this for years and years to Yale and Harvard and all of them. They refuse to discuss anything. That's a giant fish in the desert. That right there is a giant dragon in the desert in Morocco. And that is his head. And he was trying to kill that fish and spit all this stuff down on that fish's fin and invaded his vital flesh here. And this is the dragon's throat, and it's completely covered with dragon scales. Extremely, extremely obvious. Extremely obvious. And something gashed its throat across here, and it bled out in the desert. And that's exactly what it says in the text, in the ancient text. It says, and he will kill the dragon who lives in the sea. And that was the sea. And this drained out right across here. Geologists, physicists, all of them missing literally everything. Because they, they have missed everything and they want to cover for themselves. This dragon goes all the way to the Mediterranean almost. That's his tail back here. It's still draining off of his bodily fluids. This did not happen that long ago. All right, so explain these things to me and then tell me about being a PhD and how educated they are. You can read all the books you want, and if they're not correct, you're just, just reading silly cartoon stories. And that's what's happened. And they're forced to repeat them. And I know this because you take Mary Schweitzer. There's a perfect example. She found DNA, or well, not DNA, but she just found molecules that, that had some still had some elasticity and some collagen in them of dinosaur bones. I have things that are good gushing blood out of them. And they still won't acknowledge that. The, the, the scientists in the UK are the most incompetent I have ever seen in my life. They say, oh, nobody can recreate it. Well, we just have it. Oh, there's like three of them. In the United Kingdom, we can't do this. Oh, geez, we'd love to be able to do this, but nobody can. I have blood gushing from things. I have DNA reports five years ago, CAT scans. Explain that to me, sir, you UK specialist, geniuses. I'm telling you, I get pissed off after a while, and I am pissed off because there is not a single educated person that wants to speak about truth. They want to be educated by keeping you just lying to you, literally lying at this point. It's, not, it's no longer incompetence. It's no longer just an accident. There, nobody is, can be this incompetent for this long. It's impossible. It's fraud. It's fiduciary failure. It's racketeering. All right. I always get end up going down this road, but I am just pissed off at these people now. So that's how it's going to end up every single time. I can tell you that right now.